This new Holy Father fascinates me by the simplicity and the ease with which he's able to communicate with people of various ages and backgrounds because he's able to speak to us from the heart. Maybe it's the simplicity of the life that he lived as a Jesuit. But recently he spoke to some confirmande and he said something that really struck me on this as we celebrate and prepare for this week of Pentecost. He said the Holy Spirit is what changes us. He went on to say it brings us the new things of God and that the Holy Spirit comes to us and makes all things new. Now I've heard that the Holy Spirit renews and cultivates new life in all of us. But what particularly struck me was the reality is not only does He make things new, but the concept of the change of the Holy Spirit. The power of the change means that the Holy Spirit begins this initiative within me. God always takes the first step. But simply by invoking the power of the Holy Spirit into my life, come Holy Spirit, renew the life of God within me, strengthen me, that the Holy Spirit continues the mission that what began in our baptism. In other words, every time that I receive the sacrament of the Eucharist or an encounter of the mercy and confession, I am once again renewed in that baptismal grace, that powerful moment when I was changed from an unbaptized child to a child of God through the power of the Holy Spirit and the gift of holy baptism. This weekend, one of the readings, that one of the options is speaks to us about the different gifts of the Holy Spirit. But one of the powerful statements that I read this week was that as the gifts are given, they have a purpose. The Spirit manifests different gifts to each of us for the building up of the body of Christ, to strengthen our brothers and sisters, to help them in their journey of faith. You know, not long ago, I remember there was a young gal who had come to some of the healing masses. She had some struggles with her past. But I began to notice how God began to heal her and enable her to be an instrument of healing for others. God renewed the life within her, changed her, and gave her new hope. As a matter of fact, the very wound that she thought was an impediment to God, in other words, blocked God from coming into her life, actually was the confirmation that the Holy Spirit was working through her. You know, you and I have these same wounds or these same doubts or these same past sins that try to resurrect themselves as we draw closer to Christ. They come at us when we're getting ready to take a spiritual leap of faith and all of a sudden doubt comes in. Is God going to catch me? Is God going to fail to support and keep His promise that He would lead me through the valley of darkness into an encounter of new life? God keeps His promise. He tells you that He renews the face of the earth, changes us, through the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's what we celebrate this weekend, Pentecost. The power of the Holy Spirit coming upon the apostles and giving them the strength, not only to speak to the hearts and souls of others, but to recognize the intimate love of God for each of them. This week, take a look at some of the areas in your life that have changed. Wounds or sins that are now converted to moments of grace. And be joyful in the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. The Holy Spirit changes and renews things in us and even in our enemies, even in those that we think have no faith. The Holy Spirit is working on them to come back to the mercy of the Father. Remember, folks, this is more than a sermon. It's more than a thought. This is the reality of Jesus Christ. God bless you.